Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube. If you're watching this video later on, over on that wonderful platform for our first deck of our 12 hour stream today. Got another uh, fun 12 hour stream today where as you can see our lineup got lots of good decks to play here uh, and we'll see we may even get an eighth deck in there if we have time. Um, so we got Demir Midrange to start with. This is our loan donation deck of the group. Besides that, I picked out some, some of uh, the decks that we've played before that have been doing pretty well uh, and everything and decks that I wanted to play against. That's what we got a, a nice um, lineup on the day. So this Demir Midrange list looks pretty interesting. I, I haven't been... Oh man, getting choked up on it. <clears throat> there we go. I haven't been too big of a fan of Disinformation Campaign with Counter Magic pairing those together, but we'll see how it works out. We're only playing two Sinister Sabotage, so when you get to like the late game, like late, late game, it is really nice to have access to Sinister Sabotage for sure. It's like turn three is a little awkward where, uh, you know, you tap out for campaigns, so then you're behind, so then you don't have the time to leave up Sabotage, but if we can tap out for campaign and maybe Ritual has set away some creatures and, and kind of get back into like where we stabilize, then late game will want that Sabotage there. Um, so, but we only do have the two Ritual of Soots also. Um, which isn't very many, but we'll see. Hey, what's up, Jolner? Uh, but we have lots of, like, cheap interaction, though. Uh, with our, we got, you know, Cast Down a Moment of Craving, got two of those. We got a couple of Fungal Infections. So we're a little bit lower on the curve in general. So hopefully we can kind of uh, be a little more proactive with our removal uh, early on. And then, of course, we're playing... We all know how good Thief, Thief of Sandy and Hostage Shaker are, right? Like, these cards are just awesome. Like, they're just so, so good. So, uh, you know, that's that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, we got some Doom Whisperers at the top end. Lazav is really good at copying either Thief of Sandy or Doom Whisperer and just being a blocker out early. It's pretty good there, too. Um, so there we go. Icagis. Yep, today's decks are updated. These are the these are our list for today. And thank you so much for that sub with Twitch Prime. Starting off the stream real well. Hey, what's up, Robert? Let's get started. Whoa! Gatsby! With a huge cheer. Now that's kicking the 12 hour stream off. Wow. Gassy says, Chad is very grateful for you and Hawkeye and Puppy for the awesome content. Thanks for your hard work and commitment to your followers. And shh, don't tell Crimson. <laughs> All right, I won't, I won't say anything to Crimson. We'll see if, if Crimson notices. Just earned that 100,000 bit badge. I didn't even know that was a badge. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gatsby. All right, so we're gonna have to get some wins here for that. Pretty decent looking hand. I think the individual cards in this deck are pretty powerful. Uh, you know, Search Rest Canta by itself is awesome. Thief of Sandy, same thing. Ritual of Such is really good. We have, like, really powerful cards, but sometimes our, our cards don't necessarily line up with the opponent. But I like what we got going on. All right, we did find our land for Thief, which is awesome. We want to, basically I'm looking for blue mana right now. Wait, Multani? Wait, wait, what's going on here? I was expecting this to be a wilderness reclamation deck and stuff, you know, just like. And there's suddenly a Multani. Throwing that discovery in the graveyard because I don't want to uh, spend the time to cast it really. Yeah, I wasn't expected to see Multani, but here we are. <laughs> yep. 
Joyv, good job. Girl Dino 50 F and M with the collision version. Cool. So you had the collisions in the main. Nice. How how are the collisions? Is that good? Is that a good main deck addition there? All right. So I need to fuel their search for Escanta. Heck, and their Multani. This counts their graveyard too, right? So, I don't really mind that, that Root Snare there. Them playing the Root Snare just, like, allows me to play a second Thief. Hmm. White mana. We a Bant deck now. Yeah, it gets plus one, plus one for each land you control and each land in your graveyard. Ugh, that thing could be big. Okay, here, let me check out this Abzan deck. Made some changes to the Abzan Legends. Had it had to add an extra Alondra. Uh, very nice. Ooh, can, I mean, I, I really wish I could take land drops. Huh. I mean, do I even need a Teferi? I mean, Teferi's good. I kind of want the grow spiral so they can hold up like sabotage and spiral and and everything. But no, I'm going to take Teferi. What's our opponent's deck? It's like a, a Bant control, I guess. Bant turbo fog. Uh, with Multani for a win con. Shalai's a little odd. They have Shalai against Burn, I suppose. <laughs> the three drops good enough already. You don't need to give it land also. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think Thiva Sandy is at a really good power level. Um, you know, like the 2 2 body. I, you know, like for like. For the card, I think it is a really good power level. I think if you did add in that its ability to hit land drops, it could certainly be too good kind of thing. Um, I, I think it's a, a well-designed card at a good power level. You know, it's not it's not too soft where it's not seeing any play kind of thing. All right, so might as well cast down. Land. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. No, not really, Cooper. Cleansing Nova with three mana available. Do they have a counter spell as well? We haven't seen any sabotage from them. Yeah, no, I wasn't really enjoying the traveling the last the last year and everything like that and um, I don't miss it too much. I like, like staying home and everything. Uh, poor opponent. They did not like getting all of their cards taken from Thief of Sanity and decided to pick up their cards and go home. <laughs> you need that, that easy button from Staples. Well, that was easy. <clears throat> Alright, Weaver Reaper, what you got? I can't wait till they have it so we can change the basic lands again here in Arena. I know, I know, I could, you know, export the deck list and change it and all that kind of stuff and re-import re them, but it's just too much work.
but this island is, I don't know, it's the castaway island. Oh, I just realized we're at two subs on the day too, because we had, yeah, we had the Gatsby resub and then, um, and then the Ikejus sub as well, so. Yeah, right. I would I would throw some money at like some un, like get like the unhinged lands if you if that was an option. I'd probably pay ten dollars to be able to have yeah like I would pay ten dollars to have you know like access to the the five unhinged lands. I'm pretty surprised they don't have that as like a purchase option. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to take Resplendent Angel. We get to play that next turn. I know I could take, like, Mortify to protect my Doom Whisperer, but I don't even have a second Black Man or anything yet. It's not like Doom Whisperer is that important. Oh, wait, Mortify kills my Ascanta! Crap! Alright, should have taken Mortify. Dang. My bad. Yeah, that's a good... Yeah, I agree. That's a pretty good cosmetic to sell. The land art sets. Alright, you can have your honor guard. Whatever. <laughs> it's early. Early in the day for me. Uh, it's early for... I forgot about the whole, I have an enchantment in play, and Mortify says destroy target, delete, delete, enchantment. Six six is markably bigger than one three. Yeah, Fungal Infection's an anti uh, Adanta Vanguard card for sure. Alright, you're finally feeling better? Nice, Zerf. We have two Ritual of Sets, and they're both right here. Slightly annoying. I don't know. I'll do one more time. So I do want Hostage Shaker, but of course Hostage Shaker doesn't do anything with Takali Honor Guard in play. But I want that card for l later. I'll just ditch it. I do wish that Fungal Infection was cast down. If it was cast down, we could kill the Honor Guard and keep that Hostage Taker. Shock. We have surveilled over a lot of cards. That we don't necessarily want. We've gone through 11 lands. How many lands we got in here? 24? I 
See, the opponent's, you know, debating on whether to trade their, like, Aurelia plus Lava Coil for Doom Whisperer. I think if I'm them, I probably just put the thing on the Honor Guard and maybe have Honor Guard. Alright, no combat. Best case scenario for us is they pump the Aurelia to be a 4-5. They attack with both and mentor onto the Honor Guard. And then we get to block Honor Guard and attack with both because then they're trying to, trying to Honor Guard plus Lava Coil to kill the Doom Whisperer. And we take the 4... But shrink their, shrink their honor guard. So basically, everything that's happening right now is what I was saying would be the best case scenario. And now our Doom Whisperer can't die to a lava coil. Land. Okay, there's a land. I'll just keep both of those. So am I going to want to Dispersal? What if I should just atta should be attacking for 6 there? And just willing to take 4? I don't know. I'm glad I didn't attack now. Certainly glad I didn't attack. What kind of removal spells do I have for like Lyra and Aurelia? I have two contempts. That's not very many. That's not very much. Or hostage taker, but hostage taker isn't reliable. Um, if I so if I dispersal, they just discard the lava coil and play Lyra again, and then we're. You know, in like the same spot, basically. This doesn't look so good for us. Oh, right. I did not take that under consideration for some reason. Should not have kept the sabotage. I just have to find contempt. We do not have very many answers for angels in our deck. Two contempts in the entire deck. That is not very many. 
especially not when hostage shaker doesn't work. It's kind of the problem with playing cards like Moment of Craving and Fungal Infection. Yep. It's hard. That's that's the thing about playing removal is removal is pretty situational and you can't yeah, you can't have things for everything. Hey, God of Magic. It is going quite well today. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. Mm. That's just game over. So, yeah, like, we're, we're dead here, I'll show you. So, like, Resplendent Angel comes on in, makes another Angel. I don't have anything to answer this. Earlier, uh, with Surveilling earlier, we hit both Ritual of Soots when we really didn't want those. And I don't have, it, I don't have answers in my deck anymore. And unfortunately, our removal is more of the same in the sideboard. Ah, Eldest Reborn. That card's great. Get that in here. Um, Diva Sanity, while, you know, obviously good if it's hitting, it's, it does not get through Angels at all. Getting an extra cast down in here, take out Resplendent Angel or Takali Honor Guard. That, that whole game, like, basically I lost that game, like, with my Thought Erasure of not taking Mortify uh, and having the Search Rose Cant to destroy it. I think that's where I lost that game. Yeah, losing Search was the, was the problem there. Yep. I think we could win that game with, with the Search Rose Canta. Because this Canta is so powerful. Or... If not win, be in a whole lot better position. They're going to have a lot of removal over on their side. I do like Duress. If I move away from Thief of Sanity, can I win? Yeah, we could have the dispersal instant speed when they attacked to the Lyra. They would have just replayed Lyra. It, would, it wouldn't, wouldn't have really changed anything. It wouldn't have put us like in a better spot. And we wouldn't have d dug through our deck. I gotta drop something. I'm just gonna drop the Lazavs. The Thought Erasure not taking Mortify was the big problem. Or that, that was the big mistake. Yeah. Oh, I still had Moment of Craving in the deck? I missed that one. I was looking for cards like that. I guess I thought I only had cast downs at two. Oh, no, no, no. I did keep a moment. That's right. I did. I, no, I wanted to keep the moment because I could certainly see my opponent playing a Danto Vanguard. I, I wanted something for a Danto Vanguard. Right, so I, I did. Yeah, that's why I kept the moment because of. This could certainly be a Danto Vanguard deck with Mardu Angels here. I thought if I played Thief, it would, you know, kind of either die to a removal spell, get blocked, something like that. I wanted to Thought Rager to check their hand first, and History Benalia is really powerful against us.
good. Land drop. We'll make them make a choice next turn of like play Lyra or play Lava Coil. This is not a very good matchup for Thief, but we kind of don't have anything better. But I'd rather the Thief just be a removal spell for a Splendid Angel. No attacks. Interesting. Too worried about me killing Lyra and then hitting them with sanity, I suppose. Hey, Streak. Which one, Mardu Angels or Demir Midrange? Ah, uh, Demir Midrange? Okay. Ow. Um, do they please don't have Mortify? Okay, Seraph. That one's kinda tough. All right, so we got a dispersal, get rid of this Lyra, and then next turn with the third chapter of Elvis Reborn, we can get Lyra and have Lyra and Doom Whisper have a nice um, combination of cards in the air. Um, so do I want to clear that card? I'm just going to get rid of the Seraph. Let's do that. What are I going to do, Vanguard? All right, so a little bit ago we had uh, Simon. We had somebody, we had Simon sign up for Quip, getting a brand new toothbrush. So the my Quip alerts for some reason the last couple days haven't been working too well. So I'm gonna just do the test alert to get the the hype in there for signing up for Quip, and we're gonna go ahead and move that up. So we are at 16 now. Only four quip referrals away from a new from another twelve hour stream. We are getting close there. Quip is just a really, really good quality toothbrush. 
Um, and if you sign up for Quip, you do get a donation deck of your choice for free. Attack. I'm going to have Ascanta activation here over uh, Thought Erasure, plus put the campaigns in my hand. Okay, there's our donation deck. Mardu Theater Control. Nice. Okay. Is this is this a best of one deck? Which, that's perfectly fine. I can play best of one. Uh, just asking. Or... Or do you want me to make a sideboard and have it for best of three? Because I can put together a sideboard. It's not not too difficult, so I can play it either either way, whichever one you whichever way you'd like me to play it. I should probably get this third Doom Whisperer in here in this matchup, especially on the draw. Thief of Sandy is just not going to do anything. Do I want Lazav to copy Doom Whispers, or do I want Negates? Or another moment. You know, we saw them have Fungal Infect, or saw them have Vanguard there. Probably want to, or actually, I probably want these Cry of the Carnariums for History Banalia also. Yeah, let's get Cries in here for History. And Vanguard. Yeah, I like that. Okay, prefer best of three? Okay, cool. Alright, uh, what day... Do you have a day and time slot you'd like me to play it? I can do, you know, like, do you want me to play it tomorrow? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? And if you like later in the day or earlier, for like my 3 to 10 schedule, you... Uh, there. So we have, let me save it here, Mardu Theater Control. There's a Vanguard. Let's see if we find like Cry of the Carnarium or Moment of Craving. Definitely don't want this land. Do I want the Discovery? I mean, Discovery is a pretty solid card. I think I'm going to just keep this card. We've seen like having, having like Dispersal even in this matchup where we don't have very many answers to their Angels and stuff. Dispersal is pretty clutch. Okay, tomorrow, er, tomorrow early. Cool. I got you. Thank you so much, Simon. Uh, Panther says, I want to start keeping track of my best of three matches with my main deck so I can, can try to improve my play and short my sideboard against matches I struggle against. Any suggestions on how to do that well? Alright, well, now we're just doing this. I, I don't really know any way to track your matches besides just manually doing it, you know, like having like a, a Excel spreadsheet kind of thing. Um, you know, you can you can just have like, uh, you know, you don't have to write down each deck you play against, I guess. Well, I guess if you're trying to, man. Okay, that'll do. I guess you're trying to find out what you want to side have stuff for sideboard again. So I guess you do need to track the different decks. So maybe just kind of like write down all the the tier one decks in it in a Excel spreadsheet, um, and you know, against Sultai, game one, game one wins and losses kind of thing. If you'd like to do that, a replay feature that could be kind of nice. You can go back and watch. I know that like sometimes I'll I'll watch like the YouTube videos uh, that I have here. Um, 
try out different things. And while I'm watching the videos, and you know, I'm just focused on on the games and not you know like talking and interacting with Chad and everything. So there are certainly times where I'm like, I should be doing this line. This this is the line I should have. And then you know, I I do whatever else other line that is not the the line that I said I should be uh, taking. So I guess I'm just contempting the Aurelia. Try to save as much life. This is kind of tough for us, though. Opponents had a good curve out with Vanguard on two, and then Honor Guard plus Drill Bit on three, and then Aurelia on four. It's a good hand on the play. Seraph is really nice because Seraph can gain Death Touch also. Don't think we're winning this this one. I don't, there's nothing nothing in my deck I can draw to get out of this. Whoops. One and one. There we go. Okay. Write this down too. Opponent had a lot of problematic permanents for our cards to deal with. You know, we just need it. You know, like the two mana removal spells that deal with the Danto Vanguard don't deal with Takali on our guard, for example, and a lot of things like that. It was kind of tough for us. Hey, Creeping Chill. We were doing that yesterday. We're having our opponent chill out. Yeah, they can spend the two mana to get Gutter Bones back. But it does, you know, use their turn. And just puts it back in their hand. Yeah, Lazav has a cool animation, absolutely. What's the best deck that you have streamed over the last few weeks? Uh, definitely Grixis Discard. Yeah, I'll take these. Those are good ones. We want to wait till... I have five mana to hostage take their thing and then just cast it. Hey, yeah, good game, Weaver. Yeah, good games there. You had a lot of good cards, or like a lot of cards that didn't match up well against our interaction spells and put a lot of pressure on us. Like your, your last hand also. That was that was pretty nice with the Vanguard and then Honor Guard plus Drill Bit. Um, and then the two Angels. Angels are cool. So we want to wait. Let's cast this again and, and Moment of Craving. Want to wait another turn for Taker. I don't need Sabotage or Land. All right, I, can, I guess I can play Thought Erasure instead of Moment of Craving. <laughs> All the creeping chills. Let's take those things. Um, no attacks. Ah. 
Ow. Yeah, fun. So chilly. So, m milling myself is actually pretty nice here with Lazav, where if we put a Doom Whisper or a Thieves Andy into the graveyard, we can have Lazav turn into one of those. I like my opponent's creatures. Hey, Kanoas. Hey, Todd. Quick question. Which deck are you having the most fun with in Traditional Constructed? Honestly, that, that may still just be the Grix Grixis discard these days. Uh, the games are like usually really close and, and interesting and, and everything like that. I'm not letting them hit me and then pick up their other gutter bones. I don't think I need instant speed removal available uh, with like the contempt there. Yeah, but Naya Legends and Naya Hawatli, both those Naya decks, I like quite a bit too. There's a lot of decks I like. You know, I like the Simic Adapt um, and everything. Gruel Frenzy, Gruel Frenzy is a lot of fun to play. Cry of the Carnarium, yes, please. Get another taker. That card was pretty good. Gonna take out the duresses. Uh, Doom Whisper is perfectly reasonable here, and I, I guess cast down. Yeah, takes out like their their lord or something like that. Gonna take out the sabotages. Hey, Aura Sonic with that resub for the thirteenth month already. It said it's been thirteen months already. I remember when I first subscribed. So do I. Thank you so much, Aura Sonic. That is our third sub of the day. Yeah, our opponent has no flying blockers, but... Thief milling my opponent's really not that good for me. And Thief doesn't block well at all. I, I actually don't like Thief in this matchup. I Just because our opponent doesn't have flying blockers doesn't mean that Thief is good. I kind of want to take out all the Thieves, actually. Um... Because, you know, playing Thief and then also with, like, Cry and Ritual, so it's not good. It, Thief's only good after you've already stabilized. Like it, you know, like milling them and getting like some two ones or whatever. The the only thing is I I don't really want to play any of these cards. So it's like I guess I'm playing one thief because I don't I don't want to play any of those. So yeah, I guess I have one thief in my deck. But that's that's kind of a, a trap, I think, is um, wanting to play Thief just because your opponent doesn't have uh, flying blockers. When when you're going to be behind, and when your opponent's an aggressive deck, you don't want Thief of Sanity there. Yeah, Lazav can copy. Yep, you can have two Lyras on the battlefield. Uh, with my Grixis Legends deck, I have Lazav in there that... Uh, some t a few times we've turned it into a Niv Mizzet and had and we've had two Niv Mizzets on the battlefield. That's that's happened a few times where we like cop copy Niv Mizzet. I mean that card's just good. Should probably have that. Copy Niv Mizzet, then use like a Yogmoth Vile offering to return the Niv Mizzet from the graveyard to the battlefield. It is pretty sweet. Yeah, two lands discovery on the draw uh, isn't isn't too bad to keep ever because discovery gives you a lot of uh, velocity through your deck of churning through cards and and everything. It's a lot of selection. Um, 
I do kind of want to wait on these hostage takers, so I'll just pass the turn. Liliana's great. I call, and the dead answer. Hmm, you fail to entertain me. <laughs> I Skewer have a deliciously the morbid idea. All right. So they milled over a zombie with the Midnight Reaper, so they got the trigger there. Debating if you want to get a bagel or not. I could use a bagel right now. Bagel sounds really good. Pretty lucky here they don't have a, a second creature. They don't just have two creatures to kill the Doom Whisperer. It's pretty lucky. I wasn't really expecting the Doom Whisperer to necessarily survive there. Should you finish your project or watch me stream? You should do both. You should finish your project uh, with the stream on in the background. Uh, if you need to mute the stream to have enough um, attention to your project, then you know you can do that. But definitely keep the stream on and also should finish the project. Ugh. No discovery here with this two lander. No blue mana. The reason why I'm thinking about keeping this hand be is because of Ritual of Set. Ritual of Set is good whenever you're behind, and this is the kind of hand they'll be behind. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure Simic Adapt has Hadana's Climb in it. Yeah, it's got, like, two copies. Hmm. I was just going to be playing this tapped, but... Do I need a... Maybe I just duress. Because then if I'm having discovery, then holding up sabotage. This is not what I want to face. Get that thing out of here. Sabotage is good, at least in this matchup. I don't think you can cancel putting a tapped land out. Like, once you already... Say put it in tapped, then you're done. You can't do anything. Let's start. What's the lands on the battlefield? You're done. Can't cancel it for Z, with Z. Thought Rager is the better card to play here. Discovery gives us a better chance of finding blue mana. Or sabotage. worked out pretty well for us. How do you feel this deck would hold up in best of one? Probably not very good. Yeah, best of one, you need to be a lot more linear. This this deck has a lot of holes um, where, like, sideboarding helps quite a bit. I would not think this would hold up for best of one. Uh, what to change about it? I don't know. You have to change a lot. It's 
specific like what specifically I'm not exactly sure as a ca caveat I don't play best of one myself too much so I think that the playing like Grixis would be a better best of one deck though I think you have better removal and and things like that better win condition with Nicol Bolas I mean I do think Gr Grixis is just a better deck so I need one more mana before I can Doom Whisper with Sabotage back up. I don't really want the mana though, but now we have like campaign that gets to get this hostage taker out of our opponent's hand. Alright, campaign's out of here. Sorry, campaign. I don't feel like I need to, to pay life right now. We're gonna have like this Ascanta um, activation. Let's let's have the Ascanta activation first. I don't want that. So I'm gonna graveyard transform and, and then I guess I'll pay two life. Alright, those cards are just fine. I don't think I have anything that kills Doom Whisper over there right now. I guess I have, I have Dispersal though. Yeah, they're gonna Dispersal. I'll get rid of Fungal Infection. Sure, Fungal Infection kills this Daredevil and gives me a 1-1, one, one, but, you know, that's, that's kind of whatever. I will keep that Thief of Sanity. Rude. No, opponent's not playing my discard deck. No, I, I don't I don't have cards. I don't have da Daredevil or Hostage Taker at all in my deck. So they're playing a, a diff different Grixis list. Daredevil is usually really good in, in the blue black mirrors and stuff. We've been kind of fortunate that we haven't had the removal in the graveyard that gets rid of Doom Whisperer. All right, now with my uh, with my opponent tapped out and everything, this is perfect. I'm gonna put Thief of Sanity over there in the graveyard so that I can just turn the Lazav into a Thief of Sanity. But. This hostage taker is really nice too, though. You know, hostage taker take Daredevil. Wish I had one more land. Oh, all right. Yeah, so my plan was... So, basically... 
Yeah, Llama says, why not Graveyard Thief so Lazav can transform into it? So I, I still had that ability with Doom Whisper. If I just Graveyard Thief immediately, then my opponent probably is like, oh, I should kill that Lazav. And so then they're like, whenever they Daredevil, they maybe just get a removal spell to kill the Lazav um, kind of thing. Where I got to like surprise them and and have them use their card and then uh, then still put the let the Doom Whisper put the thief in the graveyard where they didn't know that that was coming. So that that was my plan. That was my plan is to you know not give my opponent that information that that was something that could and or would be happening. All right, I definitely want. All of those. Another thief and takers. Honestly, duress negate may not be that good here. Honestly, I think like the most important things from their side are like nickel bolus, hostage taker. Those are not things that duress and negate deal with. I think it actually may be better just kind of go creature heavy. I do want another cast down. I want to be able to interact with Hostage Shaker at instant speed. I don't know what my last card I want to cut is. I'll play two to rest, one Lazav. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke is, like, with the increase of Hostage Takers, Disdainful Stroke's um, use has certainly gone up. Last format, like, the most important big things were Niv, Mizzet, and Carnage Iron, and you can encounter those. And therefore, Disdainful Stroke didn't do a whole lot. You know, counter like Vivian and Chubacabra, but now you have those in like with Krasis and Hostage Taker. Those are important things to be countering. There's no reason to wait and contempt the Thief of Sanity. I think just using the mana while we can. I don't know why our opponents possibly like why would they play a Phoenix here into the contempt? I don't I don't know. When you know I have like the mana for contempt and nothing else to do, they know about it. I don't think they have like any other thing necessarily to do. Is there anything in particular I'm looking for? It's not really. It's even like a land's like not that bad. That is bad. Wow, Carnage was awesome. That's a great Carnage. Wow. All right, now there are things that I'm looking for. I'll take this Duress. All right, so they have Bolus, the Bolus Coil combo. Yeah, <laughs> you tried one Mox in the Legend deck? Nope. It is not reliable ramp at all. 
disappointing ramp. Alright, need to find something for this bolus, because next turn if they draw a land, they get to flip bolus, and that's a huge problem. So, let's look for a removal spell. Not a land. Uh, dispersal is removal spell-ish. Close enough. I just don't think I really need... I don't think there's really any upside of waiting there, honestly. Of like, you know, waiting for my opponent to draw a card and then attack, you know, it could just give my opponent a better thing to discard than Lava Coil. Zop has Hostage Taker. Erlazov has. So yes, my opponent can kill the hostage taker and get their siege gain commander back, but then if they do that, then this Doom Whisper is probably killing them. So they kinda have to use removal on Doom Whisper. Is there any downside? Our opponent could draw a counter spell if I wait with the dispersal, as far as downsides go. Well, aren't they dead? They're just, they're, they're dead. Doom Whisper is big. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. Our deck, our, our cards matched up pretty well there. Doom Whisper, Doom Whisper has been real impressive. I haven't done a ton with Diva Sandy. I guess we did like the very first game. Hey, Johnny Pot Pie. Getting the hype in the channel to start this 12 hour stream off. Well, we're an hour in, but thank you so much. So there we go. We have five new subs. So if you're a new sub, hope you enjoy the awesome emotes. That's right, for subscribing, you get 22 emotes you get to use, not only in my chat, but any chat anywhere. We have Herman, 17, Sleepy J, 10, 11, uh, Feshel, Made Toast, and Svet BG. Welcome y'all to the channel. Congratulations on getting those gifted subs. Ooh, good call. Santa Pot Pie. Thanks, Santa Pot Pie. So again, I'm, I'm just going to be doing the turn one duress here because we have uh, all of this. And Eldest Reborn is really annoying to deal with. Do I take Eldest Reborn over to Fairy? I kind of feel like I should. Which, that's weird. I want 4th land, but not 5th land. Hey, Chico. If the Thief's Andy sticks around and everything, I'll want more lands, but... Uh, I don't want to just guarantee that we'll have another land there, because if the Thief's Andy dies, we're going to need other spells. Alright, give me a counter spell. I'll take a Mortify, I suppose. 
I suppose. Uh, we lost to Mardu Angels. Yeah, I think Mystic Archaeologist has some standard viability somewhere. I think it, I think it could have some kind of standard viability. Thought Razor is a great draw. Let's take this to Fairy. Get rid of the land. So they found the removal for Thief, and unfortunately our Thief didn't really hit anything important. You know, Mortify is not very good for us. And I don't have anything to do. So I definitely wish I would not have kept that other land with the Discovery right about now. I would take another Discovery. That'd be good. Ugh. <clears throat> All right, opponent found their second blue source, so absorbs turned on now. I'm not sure exactly why they're just casting that inside main phase, but we have no re nothing to punish them with, nothing to resolve here. Fungal infection is good against the aggressive decks of the format: mono white, mono red, mono blue, those kind of things. I can no hey, longer stand born. by and watch. We need it's to move quickly. Very cost efficient. And looks like we've lost here after just drawing all these lands in a row. I think that's a card our opponent should probably be countering. This, this deck, uh, this specific list was not a list I put together. This is a, a viewer list. This is one of Zerf's, Zerf's decks here. You can tell because there's not a lot of ritual sets in Brass's Contempts. We only have two of each of those. I'd have a lot more of those. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Bushi. Yeah, that's certainly a good resource there. Keep up the pace. Dun, dun. Not cast down. We don't want that card. Attack you. <laughs> oh, why can't our Thief of Sandy hit anything that matters? I guess we take this thing that could maybe destroy enchantments and stuff. I. <laughs> oh, we have four cards that are just all dead. Yeah, game one, we're, yeah, we were more soft to, to fairy game one for sure. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of deck that our sideboard's kind of built for. Um, this kind of matchup. So we'll have, we're going to have two Duress, three Negate, two Elder you know Reborn, I'm not done a yet. Doom Whisperer, a Thief of Sanity, and an Unmoored Ego. I guess we could have Ego here as well. What, what does Mortify do? 
Destroy target creature or enchantment. You want me to destroy my, my creature? Teferi, unfortunately, is a planeswalker. That's not a creature. We cannot destroy Teferi with a Mortify. Oh, good. Alright, this Teferi is going to kill us. Yeah, we had that Mortify with two lands, so it was like the only card for us to take. Alright, cast down, craving, fungals, rituals. Where does that leave us? 64? Hostage Taker may not be spectacular, but it could, you know, like they could certainly have like their own Thief of Sanities and stuff in this matchup. Uh, I would kind of expect them to, honestly. So we. I'll still get rid of it. So that leaves us with 61. So basically, do we want to play Unmoored Ego? We're going to cut one Lazav, maybe? Well, Zav's basically only going to be useful if we have a Thief or a Doom Whisperer in the graveyard. Which, you know, that can happen, but I don't know if we need two Lazavs. Like, the 1-3 body doesn't matter. Doom Whisperer, at least, like, we have, we have a lot of life to play with. So Doom Whisperer, uh, Surveil is, is pretty nice, can really help us find what we want. It is very easy to kill, and it does cost a lot of mana, and it's not a card that I would necessarily love, but I don't love it, but I don't think we have better options. You know, if, if I was putting together my best 60 cards against control, for example, Doom Whisperer would not be among them. That works pretty well. Alright, negate as Kanta. Let's take this as Kanta. Got two Teferis over there. We only have one black source for contempt as of this second. Yeah, or well I mean Teferi can just minus and get rid of the Doom Whisperer. That's on the battlefield. I would like to draw a land here, though. Hmm. So if I don't take... Like, I want to take Thought Erasure, but then that gives them Insight. I'll take the Insight. Don't expect them to have Kaya's Wrath here, but you know, one of these thieves can get contempted. I want to have another thief on the battlefield. Come on, where are lands? Well, that was fortunate that we found a blue source. I should have used Black Black for discovery. Do I actually want to draw another thief next turn? Not sure if I do. Kinda need to just draw another land. Yeah, I would I would be surprised. That's why I wasn't really worried about a wrath. I did not I did not expect my opponent to have wrath still in their deck. Absorb's good. I would play Grixis Discard in ranked. I think that's our best, the best deck that we have there. Wow, Moment of Craving is perfect here for them to throw down the gate as well. You know, I guess we'll just make them do it. I guess we'll just trade the gates. That is 
really good for our opponent. I could just keep Absorb available to counter the first Teferi. But they're just going to like play Teferi minus. And I play another Doom Whisperer. And then they have to draw. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Not worked out too well for us. Need to hit land drops to increase our chances of being able to double spell. No time for a break. that one though. All right, yep, absolutely, Pyro. Sure can. Azorius aggro. Let's skip to the good part. That moment of craving was really good for our opponent. I, I needed to untap another turn and you know be able to have like these other counter spells up and everything I can't I can't win from here though just looking back at it how this has played out of course I, I do regret playing the doom whisper on five and kind of wish I would have just passed and had a zorb I don't really want to even just cast the insight ever because it gives them insight but I I think I probably should have just waited and absorbed to fairy but then but then they still have like the second to fairy that I don't have anything for We have a new mythic? Is this a mythic? Hey, look at that. We've got a new mythic. Dire Fleet Ravager. Nice. Yeah, we had a good run though, Zerf. Had a good run. Cards did not line up that, that last game. Alright, so Azorius Aggro. All right, writing that one down. Okay, um, so Demir midrange, the the deck went okay. You know, we we had a good run, three and two, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you certainly see like the holes that you have in a kind of deck like this. I feel like so like like we talked about before. I don't really like campaign with sabotage and stuff, and and. I don't really like campaign with Thieva Sandy either too much because uh, they're both kind of cards that, you know, they don't play defense well at all. So they're both like cards you want to slam down on turn three. And, and um, yeah, this kind of gives us like not enough protection or interaction or anything like that. I feel like if we want to go sabotage and Thieva Sandy main, um, we probably want some more card draw. Like maybe this should be a Chemister's Insight deck maybe. Maybe uh, Chemistry's Insight can work with Sabotage and, and things like that. Um, I don't know. Just playing the two colors with Demir just seems much worse than three colors with Grixis. To me, it kind of always has. There does, do, doesn't seem to be any upside of keeping the deck two colors and not, not playing three colors uh, for myself. Um, Nicol Bolas is incredibly good. And playing this deck without Nicol Bolas and just having basics in your deck does not seem like an upgrade uh, with how good the mana is right now. 
So there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. And as 1960Pal just said here, we only need 106 YouTube subscribers to get to another 12-hour stream, get into that 2,000. We're almost there. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube there, uh, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG if you're here in chat. You can find all of the stream replays there uh, for now. And I, I will be adding in more uh, YouTube content in the future. Uh, that's something on the docket. But for now, we got all of the stream replays up there. So uh, thanks for watching some Demir Midrange. I will see you for the next video.